This block is railroad crossing and it's 12 inch finished. Here is the diagram. It's very easy. There's some large half square triangles or quarter square triangles, some rectangles and a big square in the center. Here is what it looks like set block to block and four blocks. Patch A is a three inch finished half square triangle. We'll cut squares that are three and seven eighth inches and cut them in half diagonally once for two patches. These patches are here in the four corners of the block. So we won't be sewing them into half square triangles. We'll leave them as patches. We'll need four for the background fabric. Here is the AccuQuilt dies. If you're using AccuQuilt, these will cut this shape. Patch B is a six inch finished quarter square triangle and that is these large triangles here on the sides. We cut one square at seven and a quarter inches, cut it in half diagonally twice, and you'll get your four patches. One, two, three, four patches here. Here is the AccuQuilt dies that you can use to cut this shape. Patch C is a very odd size rectangle. It is one and five eighth inch finished by four and a half inch finished rectangle. So there is no AccuQuilt die for this. You'll have to hand cut these. We need eight patches of the white fabric and four patches of the red fabric. These are the little rails here, little rail fence units. And finally patch D is a four and a half inch finished square. We'll cut four and three quarter inch square and we need one patch for the center. To put it together, we're just going to make the little rail fence units, then we're going to sew the sides, and then finish the rest of the block. Here are the patches. Patch A is here. Remember, these are the outside corners, and patch B is the side triangles. And here are the rails for the rail fence, and then the center square. So let's start with the rail fence. To piece these, we're going to piece them like this. We'll piece four like this. The rail fence units are finished. Now we're going to take one of these and two of these. This is patch B. We're, and lay them out like this. There's a picture on step two. And you'll want to line up these bottom edges. So then you flip this over, line up the bottom, and line up the side. Then you're going to stitch a quarter of an inch. And I don't like the point of the triangles going in first if I don't have to, so I always flip it over and stitch the quarter of an inch from this side. Then do this other side the same way. And you'll make two of these. Now these units are finished. We have little nubs to cut off here. Cut them off even with this top. Next you'll take the center square and the two remaining rail fence units and stitch it together like this. Now we have these three big units done. We're going to take patch A, stitch one to either side of the little rail fence, and stitch one to the top of this one. Now piece these units together and your block will be finished. Remember to subscribe, and while you're doing that, click on the bell to be notified of new videos that come out. And thank you for watching.